Hello and welcome to this brief introduction to Hawaii Auto Match, the new professional colour matching plugin for users of Apple's Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion 5, and Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. Hawaii Auto Match is an incredibly powerful and easy to use grading plugin that allows you to create an automatic match between two different shots. With advanced GPU acceleration for exceptional speed and responsiveness, Hawaii Auto Match delivers outstanding control, quality and performance at an unbeatable price. Auto Match is perfect for matching shots from two or more different makes of camera, but of course it's also ideal for just matching two shots in the same scene from the same camera. Yet another use might be when you're keying and you want to match the colours of the foreground to the background. In each case, Auto Match creates a quick and easy match without the need for complex manual adjustment, but there's plenty of control over the fine tuning if you want it. Unlike some auto matching systems which average the entire shot or try to guess which colours to match, auto match works by sampling the colours you choose as being the most important. In this way, auto match produces less unpredictable results and allows for more precise fine tuning. So let's take a look at how it works. I've got two shots here, one in my timeline and the other in my event viewer, so I can reference them side by side. I'll click on the reference swatch to bring up the Mac colour picker and pick this area of skin from the reference shot. In hosts other than Final Cut Pro 10, you can of course simply use the eyedropper. Next, I'll pick the same area from my destination shot. That's the one in my timeline. If I now click enable, we can see the result. And that's pretty impressive without doing anything else. If I want to quickly dial the correction up or down, I can use the amount slider. By default, Auto Match will automatically match to the brightness of the reference scene. This time I'll match the shots in reverse, matching the warm shot to the cooler one by picking a dark reference and a light colour. Auto Match darkens the entire scene just as you'd expect. If I want to override this behaviour, the Match Brightness slider allows me to maintain the original brightness of my clip while still correcting the colour. Very powerful and very easy. Usually you will need no more than these simple controls to achieve outstanding results, but there's a huge amount more control if you need it. Sometimes matching one colour will throw other colours off, and Auto Match allows you to correct for this with a second set of picks. Let's enable the Match 2 checkbox to bring up the second match. I'll make two new picks from this shrub in the background. I can adjust the relative balance of the two corrections using the Match Blend slider. That's another really powerful feature for fine tuning your correction. Checking the Advanced checkbox brings up another set of controls that allow you to really dig deep into the correction. The high, mid and low sliders allow you to increase or decrease the correction in the respective luminance regions of your clip. The Max Boost Reduce slider offers a handy way to selectively adjust the dominant cast without affecting the other channels. And the RGB Mix controls provide a great way to finesse the match by adjusting the correction for each colour channel. In addition to its colour matching functions, Auto Match also includes an Auto Levels module, which lets me see the level of the highs, mids and lows in my clip easily and precisely. The high, mid and low pickers let me match to the built-in reference values for white, middle grey or black respectively. I'll pick this area of dark foliage here which I want to be 100% black. And then this area of shirt here which I want to be 100% white. Now I'll enable the Auto Levels mode, and there you have it, a very easy way of balancing out my levels. Or, if I prefer, I can match to the levels of my source clip instead. Switching over to Match to Reference brings up a new swatch, which lets me sample a value from the reference clip, the same process we used when matching the colour. And of course I can fine tune the results using the high, mid and low sliders as needed. 
One of the great features of Hawaii Auto Match is that in addition to the automatic colour and level matching processes, there's a complete manual colour correction section built right in. Toggle the fine tune checkbox to enable this powerful suite of tools. As you'll discover, there's a lot more to Hawaii Auto Match than I've been able to show you here. But I hope you've seen something of the power and flexibility that it offers. It really is as quick and easy as you could hope for, while also giving you a great set of tools for refining the results. Hawaii Auto Match is available exclusively through FX Factory, which means you can download a free, unlimited trial version and try it out for yourself right now.